internal link building is a vastly underrated SEO technique. And I think it's simply just because it's difficult. But if you're using WordPress, then I found a surprisingly good WordPress plugin that can help you interlink your posts. And not only does it make it easy to interlink your posts using natural language processing, it also shows you all incoming links, including the anchor text to your specific posts. Let me introduce you to Linksy. I think speaking for myself, the most difficult thing about internal link building is that often I don't know what articles to link to, and I don't know what articles to link from to my newly written article. And this is exactly what Linksy helped with. Because not only when you write your article in the sidebar, you have links suggesting links in your content, but you also have an entire admin module where you can use Linksy to both interlink specific posts, you can see anchor text and so much more. In the editor, if you're using the classic editor or the Gutenberg editor, then Linksy works perfectly because you have it in the sidebar where you can simply just with a click of a button, create a link in your content. If you're using a page builder like Elementor, then you don't have the same opportunity and you have to use the admin module to create your links, but it also works perfectly fine based on my own testing. But in the module, then you have a bunch of different link suggestions and they're all sorted by a keyword rating. And this keyword rating, the higher it is, the better. It is basically a connection between the anchor text and the keyword plus the landing page that this link is towards. So it is the semantic connection between the link and the landing page. The more similar they are, the higher is the score. So for instance, if you have a link that says cake baking and you're linking that to a post that is named how to do cake baking, then that will have a high keyword rating because the semantic between them is very similar. But now let's move on to the admin module, which is the universal way of using Linksy. And with the admin module, the first page is the dashboard. And this is great just to get an overview of how it's going with your internal link building. If you have any specific pages you need to work on, and if you have any orphan pages, and this is my favorite feature with the dashboard, the overview of the orphan pages or posts. This one should be zero on any website and you can see my score here. I need to work on my orphan pages. And basically an orphan page is just a page or a post that has no incoming traffic, no internal links where maybe only Google is linking to the page. But if you are not linking to the post, often Google will not either. So that's why it's so important to interlink all your posts together. But the next module is the reporting module. And this is definitely where I've spent the majority of my time using Linksy. Here you have an overview of all your posts. And here you can choose whether you want to link into a post or you want to link out from a post. And if you choose to link out from a post, then you are sent to the same view you saw just before where you have this sidebar and you can interlink with other posts. But if you choose to link into a post, then you see a completely different view. And here you get an overview from Linksy because Linksy analyzes all of your content and then it finds relevant keywords that it finds relevant for your article that it believes could be a good match to interlink from. And if you find any of these interesting and relevant, then you can simply with a click of a button add the link and then that's it, then it's done. And that's what makes links is so great of a plugin. It's so easy to use and you can add internal links so easily. The only thing that I'm missing is a way to add an extra paragraph with an internal link. So let's say that the post makes very much sense to link to a post over here, but there's no keyword in between where it makes sense to link. So you want to create an extra paragraph. If Linksy could utilize AI, analyze both of these posts and then suggest a paragraph that we could add with a link to the other post, I think that will make it a game changer in the internal link building industry. This is not something I've seen before. I've seen someone talk about it, but I've never seen it implemented. And with OpenAI and their API, I think it'll be so interesting as a feature because not only again will it save time, it will also bring so much more value to the reader because you add a paragraph that is relevant for the link. So we'll only wait and see whether they implement this or not. But again, all of the links are rated with the keyword rating. So you can always sort by that and then start from the top and work your way down. One thing that I did find with Linksy is that sometimes the suggestions are very generic and I want them to be a bit more specific, but I think we can get more specific than this. And if we want to get more specific, then we need the AI feature that I just 
talked about before. And with the reporting module, you can of course get the overview of all your orphanage posts and pages. And this is something I use a lot, but they do also have a domain report. And this is basically just an overview for you to see what domains do you typically link to. And the more time you link to a domain, the higher up it will be in this hierarchy. It's not a view that I use a lot, but if you have some issues with spammy websites or just overall some issues in this sense, then it could be an idea to see whether you're linking to a lot of spammy websites and then you can fix that by using this module. But personally, I didn't find a lot of use for this, but you might. Another feature I really like within the reporting module is that I can see all incoming links to a specific blog post and I can see the anchor text. And the reason why this is important is because if you are always using the same anchor text and the same keyword to link to a specific article, then you're actually over optimizing it. And that's not good for Google standpoint, at least you want to spread it out a bit more and use terms like click here, read more here, of course the keyword, but also semantically close keywords. And a great thing that I like to do is to go into Google search console and then see the keywords that my specific article is ranking for, and then using those keywords as anchor text. So in this case, Basically, I'm creating a backlink for this specific keyword, but of course it is an internal link, but it is still showing Google that this keyword is relevant for this article over here. That is definitely the best way. So just be careful you don't over optimize and use this view to see whether you're good enough to spreading out your different anchor text. And often you want to build somewhere between 10 and 20 links. Of course, there's no maximum for how many links you can build to an article. The more, the better in some cases but you just want to make sure that you're using different types of text for all of your internal links. They do also have some more simple keywords like an anchor cloud where you can see all of your different anchor text. They also have the keyword rating module where you can see how well is your article doing for your focus keyword on the different articles. These modules I didn't use a lot, but you might. But a third module they also have is a playground. And here, let's say that you have a keyword that you want to rank for. You can enter your keyword in here, then you can see which type of article is best optimized for this keyword. And you might not have any articles, so then you can write a new article. But if some articles are just remotely closely optimized for this specific keyword, then you can go in and optimize it further. Maybe even add a new section targeting this specific keyword. So I think it's a fun little add-on that they have added in the plugin to make it easier to see whether you should create a new article for keyword or you should just stay with the article that you already have and further optimize it. So overall, after using Linksy for a couple of weeks, it is definitely fulfilling my needs at the moment. It's super simple and easy to use and it is suggesting the keywords for the links that I want to see. An alternative to Linksy is Link Whisper, which is a much more advanced internal link building tool. So if you want the full control and more advanced features, then Link Whisper is definitely for you. But if you want a more simple and streamlined tool, then I will recommend you take a look at Linksy because it is so simple and easy to use and you get the ability to add all these internal links, which is super important. And Linksy starts at 59 US dollars per month and then you can work your way up from there because for one site for 59 US dollars, for me, it's definitely worth it. It's for an entire year and I have saved so much more time worth than 59 US dollars. So if you can say the same, then you should definitely take a look at Linksy and sign up so you can start interlinking your posts. And for the near future of Linksy, then they're working on basically a lot of stuff, but their primary focus is to be compatible with more different types of SEO plugins like Squirrely SEO and Simple SEO, but they're also working on being compatible with more page builders like DV, for instance, and also Cadence. So I think if you're using WordPress and you're a content creator or you just write some content, then Linksy is definitely for you. So you can interlink your posts much more efficient and save time and do it the right way. So you ensure that you use correct anchor text and you divide your anchor text into different categories. But I want to give Linksy four stars. It's a simple and great plugin, but I really want to see the AI feature, which will be a game changer in this industry. But if you want to see how you can grow your website traffic with Quora using a keyword research tool to find the right questions to answer, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.